Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I've got a few completions for you and this is the most recent one. I finished it about half an hour ago. It was a pain in the butt. Um, it didn't have a lot of dark pieces in it and usually that's kind of where I'm going to start as I pick the dark ones out. Uh, it just seems to go that way. And uh, I, it was hard in my brain to decide what color to do next on it. It just didn't seem to have a pattern that my eyes wanted to find. They, they were just like, I don't see it. I don't see it. Every color, everywhere, except for maybe the, the white in the skin and the lightest purple, that was probably the best. But, I mean, every look, there's a little bit of light purple down here and here. It's in here. It's everywhere. So, every color everywhere is just insane. Uh, so, it's done. Um, I'm so happy it's done because I was getting real sick of it. <laughs> it's a nice piece of art. You know, the, the original, not necessarily my work, but the image itself is really nice. And it shines good. Little kitty, meow, meow. So, I wish I would have enjoyed it a little bit more. But, you know, it's an, it's nice. It's nice to add to my collection. So, let me find the other ones. And they're down here quite a ways. I'm not real sure where I'm going to even put her. Not beside the alien. I don't know. Just. Okay. So then there's the bunny. Where? Oh, it's in another book. It's in the kitty count book. My other completion. Okay. So I've got to put this in there. And I always trim the side. I just think they fit in the book a little bit better. And I'm thinking I could take this one out of here, though, and put this one in there. Now we got to find a place where the bunny can put the bunny over here. Dobby, I almost fell. Get up from under my feet. Thank you. That was close. I almost went backwards. Okay. Well, these are my kitty cats. I love that one. See, I'm thinking owl. The owl hybrid bird. Owl bunny bird. Owl and bunny. Maybe that should go here. I don't know, but these are all cats. Where's, where's more? Where is more? Saving all these spaces. Here it is. This is another completion. This was double face tape. I hated it. I don't like double face adhesive. And kitty cats. So I put bling bling eyes in them. This one couldn't have the same blue as the other ones. It's slightly different because it was more of this color right here. And it just looked like it was continuing behind the cat. So I had to put darker blue in that cat's eyes. You probably can't really tell. But this was a great one to work on, except for the fact that, like, when, when you're working with the double face tape, you can't slide your drills anywhere. So that was a pain in the butt, but I did like the image. I just, uh, I wanted this out of the way. I got it out of the way. 
I feel better. <laughs> I feel better with this done. And like I I want to work on the biggest one that I have uh, the city, New York, and my brain is like, no, Robin, you just can't work on a project that size right now. Leave it alone. And I feel like a burden or a weight on my shoulders with the unicorn I didn't finish. That's like a 40 by 70. And, and now it feels like New York City is a work in progress only because the drills ripped open. Three packs of drills rip, ripped open. But that canvas needs iron. And all the static electricity that's been in the house, like it's not, it's not really a good idea for me to go lifting up uh, the plastic and smoothing it back down. And, but I figured that out <laughs> when I was trying to fix the plastic on the city. Let me get another one here. Yeah, so um, what happened was that I ended up having to cut the plastic in order to get it to lay flat. flat. There were so many wrinkles in it and bubbles and just... Well, I don't know. It needs ironed. It needs ironed. And I already cut the plastic. So these are my little ones here. I did this one. And it's super flimsy. There's four of these. <laughs> so this is only number one of the set. Well, it says number three. But I, I really wanted to work on something with color. So I didn't care too much that there really wasn't a picture to make out. You know, it was just about sitting here putting colorful dots on the image. And there's something else in here. Where's that? Okay, this peacock. This is one of the first ones I got, so I'm I'm really glad to get this one done. You know, and when I when I get these uh ones I've had for a long time completed, I do feel a little bit more accomplished, like I'm getting somewhere. You know. I'm gonna put that back in there. But I don't really work on this size very often, or the, or smaller than that, but uh, I have a few of them that I, I want to do. Yeah, so yeah, this book is all the regular ones. I have one that's completed with just regular diamond paintings, and then there's the book of the cats, so that's this one. And I have three more empty books. Is there? Yeah, there's three over there. I don't know. But I have enough to fill it up. If I took all my blank canvases, uh, uncompleted ones, th it would fill those books up. And I'm like, do you really want to do that? You really want to put them in a book? I'm like, mm, not really. I might. You know, because it's a, a different part of the diamond painting process. Maybe. That's what I'll find myself doing sometime soon. So, yeah, that was one, two, three, four of them. There's got to be another one in there somewhere. Well, the owl, the owl hybrid, I already showed you. So, but he, we flipped through and we seen that anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do now. But I'll show you the stack that I'm going to be sorting through in a second. All right, if I can move this stuff around, bring it over. It's my Timu haul from the other day, just sitting on top of it all. Okay, that fell in the Christmas tree box. Okay, come here, come here, come here. Mm -hmm. So the plastic ripped on this, on the bag. So that's not doing any good, is it? So yeah, look how cute though. Look how cute these ones are. Oh, they are very small. I don't think I want to go the small, small way. I think I want to do something bigger than this stuff. I could do one of 
Yeah, maybe that's the way to start. Something in this pile here. Oh, this came from One Day Savings. Kitty cats. My sheep. How about that, Robin? Do the sheep. I will. That's Halloween. There's Jesus. And turtles. But I've, I've showed this before. Um, it's hard to tell who is seeing what and who's interested in what. Uh, most people don't leave comments on my videos, which you know, I understand for the locals that just don't want to be known. It's like, let's just spy on that chick and uh, see what's uh, going on over there in her crazy house. I don't know what people are thinking about what I'm doing, but it doesn't matter. You know, I feel like the world is a little bit insane. And as I'm, I'm sitting here isolated from it and watching the news and watching things going on in the Matrix, the reality out there, because my reality in here is completely different. This is my reality. The shared reality is outside the door. So when you walk outside your door, man, you are inviting all kinds of things to happen. Whatever the universe got in store. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't want to find myself in the mix of what reality is these days. Um... On one hand, I, I see people going nuts in all kinds of ways and uh, behaviors that don't make any sense. And I think, well, what about mine? What about my behavior? How am I nuts? Because I'm definitely nuts. And um, something is affecting all of us. I don't think we're living like human beings should live. You know? Um... Shouldn't we be interested in seeing the human race thrive? And the only ones that are thriving seem to be at the top of the pyramid. You know, you can't see who they are up there. It's a big old mystery. And um, they kind of got their grips in a lot of people. Uh, people, though, they want to be a star. Well, you know, the people, it's like, it, it might as well be like alien abduction, you know? It's like, you want to come out from from the masses? You want to stand out? We'll make you stand out, but you got to do things our way. Do what we say to do. And that's why uh, little girls who look up to someone like Taylor Swift... And Disney, you know, and now they, they've grown up with her and they go to her concert and what is she doing? You know, what are these people doing in their concerts? It is, uh, they're performing rituals and it is exactly what it is. If it looks like it, it is. There is no pretending to do one. You just do it. It's real. And, you know, the parents don't seem to recognize that there's something wrong with that. And the kids don't. The kids don't know. They don't understand. They're born into this world and and uh, they don't understand all the changes that we've been through already. Just like I didn't understand my grandparents' changes at the time. You know, it's just the world how it is. And it changes with every generation. And if this continues, uh, we're, we're already... Wow. Okay, because the designer babies that are created in labs and they tweak the DNA, uh, they are full-grown adults. And uh, by now, you know, some of them are. And one, he was on a show, a contest for genius kids. And what's he doing now? He's working in cloning people's pets. And he says that's not even his passion. His passion is to work in the hybridization program. You know, and uh, you have to understand where we're going with this. <laughs> um, we are the cavemen now. And we're 
we're headed for extinction while the premium designer babies and I don't know how many they're making <laughs> but wow yeah, and they're they're going to be the new race of humans it's going to be there's going to be a division like homo sapiens and homo sapiens sapiens well there's there's going to be a division in the line here because the their intelligence and photographic memory and, and like their, their capabilities it's off the chain it's off the chain we haven't even seen it but we know it's out there and because we don't see it we don't dwell on it very much well these are the type of things that I will search for and, and it's it scares me so bad of where we are and and what's coming next that you know I'm I'm kind of frozen I'm kind of frozen in fear so I try not to think about it as many of us are doing you know like it can't be real can it can can this dude put on a show what was that called Oh, Travis, was his name Travis Scott? It sounds like it. And anyway, um, you know, they used frequencies in there. People died. It's okay. I remember my grandmother. She wanted to watch Channel 2 all day, every day. Don't change the channel. Don't change the channel. This is a little old lady so set in her ways with the programming, obsessed, like brainwashed with the television programming that I couldn't change the channel no matter what. Not even if, hey, this this is a new show coming on both channels. Why don't we change the channel and watch this one for a half an hour and then we can go back to your channel. It's just no. It was just no channel two. Patty and Daddy on the news and evening magazine and I didn't understand that that was part of brainwashing, you know, uh, it's propaganda. And you might think, well, she just wanted to watch her channel. It's like, no, that's all my grandma did. I don't remember her being young and active. It was my grandma, so my whole life what I knew of my grandmother was sitting in her chair watching the television. And for 14 years I've been in this house, what the hell am I doing? because they don't go anywhere, you know, and and what has happened to humanity that we don't care for one another anymore. You know, tribes used to care for one another. You see that on Survivor, it's like a test. It's a psychological test. It's a psychological experiment, so that's what that is, and Big Brother, and you know, and you see how people, you know, it's helping AI to predict human behavior in a category that uh, wouldn't otherwise be able to be analyzed. That's my opinion of that. And, well, we're just in trouble. We're in serious trouble. Because when you remove yourself from society and you look at it with a different perception and you get a, a bigger idea a better idea of the big picture of what's going on and it's it's starting to really scare the shit out of me now. I just found that that CERN, okay, well the Satan is supposed to live in Switzerland and it's in the Bible and I don't remember exactly how but it, it explained it and it's like so where is that? Boom, Switzerland. I don't remember what it was, but I remember watching the show and that's what happened. So, okay, let's just say that's where he resides. He's in Switzerland. Well, it's understandable why it's going to be neutral there. So where is CERN located, right? CERN is built where there was a temple for Apollo there. And uh, it was supposed to be a gateway to hell under the ground on that site. And this is the same site that they've got CERN going on. So it leaves me to think, well, I think maybe they found something from a previous civilization that is much more advanced than they ever want to let us know because they want us to believe that we evolved from monkeys or sludge. And, and, and uh, they teach this in school, Christians, uh, whether you're Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, Protestant, you know, it, Lutheran, 
you sending your kid to a school and they're being taught something completely different than what your religion is telling you. You know, um, they're being taught that we evolved from apes, which is bullshit. Okay? If you think you came from a monkey, it's bullshit. We didn't just evolve. We were created. The same way that designer babies are being created now, we were created then. You know, maybe not you personally, but like where the human mind begins, where does it begin? Because I've, I've always kind of figured like God did it that way. You know, once I understood about uh, biotech and, you know, just things like that and DNA and yeah, somebody made us here on this planet. And why would you make someone? Why would you create someone? You know, you want to control them, don't you? You want to control their minds. Well, you do that with subliminal messaging and propaganda. And, yeah, I can see that going on full steam ahead. And as they're preparing for something great where you walk through the city, the city, and there, there's nothing open in the city. Everything is shut down. And there's homeless people there. There's drug addicts there, along with the rats. So what, you know, they, they've known for a long time that you know, when you abandon a place, nature takes over and the animals come in and the plants take over. Well, they, they knew. They knew when they were creating this bug what was going to happen. So you've got the Grim Reaper shows up back in the day. People see him out in their fields. This is where they're growing their food. And there's the Grim Reaper. They don't know what it is. They just call it the Grim Reaper, and there it is. Okay, so you've got Gates involved with Monsanto, which is genetically engineering crops and creating the pesticides. And there goes the guys in the Grim Reaper suits out there spraying all those crops. And what else is Gates involved in? Well, genetically modifying mosquitoes and viruses. And there goes that word I shouldn't have said. And, um, I think he's kind of the Grim Reaper these days in modern times because, uh, what was it that people saw in the fields way back then? What was it? You know? So I think it's the same thing kind of going on. And, I mean, the food, the food tastes different. I've been eating meat from Walmart, like the hamburger meat. Poor Charlie Beans over there coughing. So uh, this time I ordered organic. Not because all of a sudden, you know, I've got to be very healthy. Uh, I think I think that's a dumb deal. Whatever's happened to me physically has happened. And so now this hamburger, I made it. And I'm going to tell you what, it tasted so much better. And be, besides it being, you know, organic, like they only eat the organic stuff the feed and all that, and they don't have hormones in them and everything. Besides of that, like it's a real cow. They're not, they're not making meat the same way. They're giving us fake meat. They use the DNA of the cow and they create some kind of concoction and then AI uh, has the program of, of what what to to make with these blank cells? So they you know they make the cow DNA, and this gel stuff, this smush, smush, mushy stuff, and it prints out meat, and they want us to eat that. Are we on Mars? I don't think we're on Mars. Why can't we have real cows? I think they're preparing for something. They're getting all this done, and a good number of us, like pretty much everybody. Um, we're going to get lost to the cause. And they control the the main event. And so whenever their plans have come along, you know, something's going to go down. And every one of us are, are going to be fighting for survival while they're going to be all nice and safe, living in a, um, like over, like Saudi Arabia or something. I don't know where it's at, but uh, it's called the line. It's like miles of straight, it's like 
they're cutting into the earth, this long straight line, and people are going to live in there and have shops in there, and there'll probably be some kind of T-rail going all the way down it to jump on, and uh, they're doing it. Or at least they're digging, and they need a good excuse to dig. But um, they're making it happen, and it seems like, what? You know, like, what? what's the rush, you know, to do something that big, spend all that money? Things are happening. And we're just not getting enough information all the time because we're taught to focus on the little shit, irrelevant shit. But when you when you see people, they're just regular people like me and you. And what makes them any different? What makes us different? And nothing, nothing. Uh, so it might as well have been me personally wanting a Stanley Tumblr and going out willing to knock somebody out to get one you know and then you see people they don't just get one you know they're not worried about their neighbor they're buying more than one because like well there's more people in their household they got to buy for their kids and you know you see that little girl screaming i got a stanley this i mean that was epic when i saw that I, she's a kid what the frick you want with a cup why are you freaking out over a cup? There's all these other kinds. I do like the little short ones where you get like a nice sized cup of coffee or something, but it keeps it insulated. I do like that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't care what brand it was. And if it was, I mean, it wouldn't go into a craze. I don't think so. But then I saw my reaction when I opened up Cinnamon Roll Stuffed Animal. Like, like what the heck? You know, so like we're we're all affected by this. It just you know, what programming did you choose? Because I have chosen Sanrio and you know, I got my Hello Kitty syndrome going on for the past year or so. That I just you know, I see cute things and it's like, Oh and I wanna buy it. And I've never been like that. I'm not a consumer, as you could tell, that's why I don't have anything around here, because I'm not a consumer, but I got a bunch of junk. So now I'm, at, I'm just at the point now where it's, um, I'm trying to distract myself and care about something, but when I set the pen down, you know, it's all still there, and humanity is still sliding down the drain and um, hold on hold on don't be a sleeping sheep you know try to wake up and really look around and find out what's important to you because your family's important people are important the quality of people has declined significantly over the past generations and what is normal has changed uh, where it was normal for a man to work in the steel mill or the coal mines and now it's normal for a man to play video games all day and yell at their kids uh, you know um, the definition of man woman human that has all changed since since I was a kid. And I'm not real sure where it's going, but I'm scared to death for the kids. Because, you know, we might get plucked out one by one. You can have a great life. Do this and do that, and you can be this singer and you can have all kind of money and clothes and house and pool and relax but it's just some kind of game where they use us to help influence the rest of us into not paying attention about what we need as a race of people the human race what we need to go forward And I don't feel like enough people are working on it, but then when you realize who is working on it, that's the top of the pyramid, baby.
And I can't climb that high. Alright, I've said enough. Peace out. God bless.